all right so what is going on today youtube back again with another video today and this is another deck sent in by random ix this is called fast nine as you can see it's a speedroid win witch win deck pretty much uh it's a win synchro deck uh pretty much hybrid and uh yeah we're playing it in the link format i mean link the link format i'm just gonna keep saying that because i just i i guess with the new rules i guess we're playing it with the new link rules so yeah this should be um actually fun this is going to be a uh, a pre-recorded duel because the original duel was like 16 i think 16 to 18 minutes so i had to speed it up but i did not want to double the time because you guys won't i won't be able to keep up with the pace of the duel or you know you guys basically won't be able to see any of the plays i did so yeah and uh, without further ado, before we, uh, before I get started with too much intricate plays, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe. Uh, and if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel. So thank you for that. Hopefully um, you guys can help me out with that and stuff like that. I'd be very appreciative. So we're going to start off with a Symphonic Warriors mic, and um, he summoned Fairy to Luna. And right here I'm thinking, all right, so it's either you're playing a random, uh, you're playing just one random ass deck, or... You know, you're playing the pendulums. You're playing pendulums because uh, that's pretty much their Kieran replacement, as you can see. Um, if you guys do not know what Fairy Tail Luna does, you can target, uh, I think, I don't know if it's a monster or a special summon monster on your opponent's side of the field. And you can bounce it to the hand unless they send another copy from the, from the deck to the graveyard. Obviously, I did not have a, another copy for Mike's, so I did not, I was not able to um, send, so you know, he bounced it back to my hand, but it ends up working out because I could just set up the scale and then go into uh, high speed Chambara, that's not Chambara, is it? I don't know, I don't think that one's Chambara, uh, I, I don't know the names of these, uh, what's the name, because I, I, I can't see, because like I said, this is a pre recorded thing, uh, I think it is Chan. I think it is Chambara, I think that is it, but you guys pretty much know what that is, <clears throat> right now I'm just going to banish, because if you guys don't know the first effect of Mike's, besides the extra normal summon, is during the end phase, you can add back a Symphonic Warrior that is banished, so that's the reason why I banished that, let's go ahead and hit him with the Young 500, and then go into a Clear Wing, and hit him with 35 extra, and now the Clear Wing is protected from being destroyed, and it actually is going to come in handy, because now he can't target it with Luna, because I can negate it, and uh, he can't destroy it with certain shit, so I'm feeling pretty good. <clears throat> uh, this deck right here, man, is, is very good, but with links being allowed now, we're definitely going to have to add some links. Uh, this deck really does not prosper that much uh, without links, because you're locked to pretty much one extra deck, as you can see. Now, unless Clear Wing gets destroyed, I'm not ba ba basically able to do anything else. And and the problem, really, with this deck in links is that there's only one wind monster, and it requires a normal. And then, like, you can't, you can't, like, most of these cards, when you use their effects, you cannot, spell, you can only spell someone wins. So it kind of, like, it doesn't, unless they come out with, like, a Speedroid Link monster or a Wind Witch Link, pretty sure it's going to be a Speedroid, but, uh, uh, there's nothing really you can do because I mean you're pretty much locked out of a lot of things so <clears throat> as you guys can tell he starts off with a pendulum call and I was like all right so I'm, I'm guessing it's right in here literally right here in the original in the original voice I said I know what he's gonna do because he activated sky iris I had a, I had a, I had a very good premonition that he was gonna use dragon pit to not dragon pit dragon pulse to try to destroy a clear wing and lo and behold what does he do? What does he do? After sitting there thinking, he targets my clear wing. I'm like, God damn, I already know what you're going to do. So he dis he discards that, so I'm like, all right, there's no reason to negate because he can't destroy it. Because the, the reason I, I I had a premonition about that is because uh, he activated Sky Iris. So it was like, why are you doing it? And you can't pop any pendulums. So what the hell are you Sky Iris for? So I'm thinking that he doesn't, I guess, read destroyed by card effects uh, uh, like the secondary part of some cards I said you can't destroy it by card effects and here I'm thinking all right he's probably gonna go meteor burst dragon and he's going to um, dragon pit because w watch what he does folks here this is why I was thinking he was gonna use Luna to bait out my clear wing uh, and then he's gonna go big eye and take it and then be able to attack me but what right watch right here folks and I, I understand that I did pretty much tell what's gonna happen but, excuse me, but uh, watch what happened, folks. He, 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 what's the name? He puts the Odd Eyes down to level four, which is the strangest reason going to come in handy for him. He puts the Odd Eyes down to level four. So I'm thinking, hmm, he's going to use Luna to target 
clear wing and I'm gonna have to negate and then he's gonna take it so I'm like all right I'm thinking of ways to get over uh, I'm thinking of ways to get over uh, the next uh, the pretty much for next turn but he ends up synchro with Luna without using the effect so I'm like wait what and then I was like all right he's gonna activate media burst he's gonna activate it I'm gonna negate it then he's gonna go into something to try to target me and I'm just gonna negate that but um, it actually doesn't does not end up happening he actually does not use the effect which i really found strange i was like i, I really believed he was going to do it especially because of that dragon pulse and i was thinking then i started thinking maybe he just did it just to discard a card out of his hand but then like if you look i have two pendulums in my zone so all you had to do is like use dragon pit to pop my seven scale and mike's is pretty much dead and i i can't pendulum summon and then and you know you don't just lose a card from dragon pulse so here, I'm yeah, I'm checking the time because you see how long this man is taking. Now this is sped up, you know, times 177. So just imagine how long this duel actually was when I'm sitting here just waiting for him to go to a damn flare metal. So I'm like, why the fuck are you going flare metal? Now I'm like, okay, as long as you clear my clear wing, I can come back because uh, once again, you're opening up, you're opening up my zone. That's all I need for him to do is to open up my zone. I don't care about flare metal. I can get over that with anything. So here he goes. I'm thinking, all right, so the max I can take is 3,300. So he goes to attack. I believe he, flare, I think Flare Metal attacks Clear Wing, if I'm not mistaken. Did it happen already? It probably did. Okay, it did happen. So he does declare an attack with that. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to negate it. He's probably going to crash, um, what's the name? He's probably going to ca clash allies with um, <clears throat> Clear Wing. That's what I was thinking. But he actually decides to go for the damage and hits me with a smooth 3000 putting me down to 4500 and so now i'm thinking all right how do i get over this how do i get over it clearly how do i get it? first of all if i kill the pendulum he's just going to attack me with the flare metal if um I, there's no way i can kill the flare metal so i'm thinking hmm what can i do um once again this is my first time literally playing most of these cards so here i'm sitting here thinking and i and i get to reading this card and i said oh shit, that actually worked and i top deck this so now i'm thinking i can ram with a uh, pendulum, I can ram with odd eyes, right? I could ram with odd eyes and then main phase two, go into the young man known as Crystal Wing, but I was gonna take a lot of damage. So what I decided to do was use a Symphonic Warriors to special summon what the one star tuner in my deck, which is Symphonic, I think Warrior Base. Uh, oh no, wait, what? Is it base? I think it's base. I have no clue what these cards are called, but end up going to a crystal wing. So I'm thinking, all right, I got game. I'm going to attack over this flare metal. And then, uh, what's the name? And then next turn, I can just, uh, uh what's the, I can next turn, I can attack over the odd eyes, you know, magician and gain the 3000 and attack for game. So here I go and I attack the flare metal. I'm putting in, I'm at 4000. So I'm thinking, all right, I got the game on. Like, I have a crystal wing. He doesn't really have a lot. The only thing that kind of worried me is the fact that Dragon Pulse is still there. I completely forgot until I ended my turn. I said, fuck, Dragon Pulse. And as you see, I go right to it. That I'm like, fuck, man. He's going to just Dragon Pulse my Clear Wing, my Crystal Wing. So I'm thinking, fuck, I'm about to lose. Uh, I think he was, I thought he was going to pop with something with Sky Iris and Search. But I guess I was like, I, I, I mean, I thought that he had, I, you know, I'm pretty sure he has something with 1500 attack. But, you know, I'm not too sure. But uh, actually, yeah, he could have popped it and searched the scale and set it and pinned him something and beat me. But he doesn't. And it actually ends up, I guess, saving me because for some odd reason, he did not want to do it. So I'm like, OK, I really didn't understand half the plays he was doing, just like the Dragon Post from the beginning. He didn't do it. So I'm thinking, all right, I got the game in the bag. I got the. um what is it, ice bell to go into the um to glass bell and then i guess this i forgot what, what i don't know what the last one is called um it's ice wind and then there's what the snow bell i believe it's a snow bell um yeah snow bell so i'm thinking all right i can go crystal wing and attack for game so i'm here sitting here doing this and this is another reason why i did not go into this earlier because i had a chance to go into this just to do a little bit of damage but i decided to wait because i felt like it was going to come down to the last um the last little couple of life points and i'm just going to be able to burn him for game and go into a crystal wing and stuff so he's down to 25 i go into crystal wing attack for game right so this is what i'm thinking inside my head this is why i do not normal summon this card in my hand is because i'm thinking i got game and then i remember uh after i hit him with the damage i remember that uh this motherfucker's a level four 
so i don't get the i don't get the boost you see me checking the time because i'm like all right well this game is clearly over right and i'm like why is i only did 500 i said holy shit this motherfucker was a level four and then i do the dumbest shit in the world i set this clearly he has the sky hours right folks so that means all he has to do is pop and then go he can what's the name he can go into the uh, he can search the odd eyes fusion and pretty much uh get that card out but then he tried to use dragon pulse again and then i'm like what, what okay what, what 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 the fuck are you doing this is when i this is why i knew i was like what what are you doing like i i literally do not know what this man was thinking and i'm thinking all right man this is this is just pointless and this literally was a 20 minute duel and for him to just fuck up and this is this is how good pendulum used to be even back like back then um he would have been able to just pendulum summon five and just do his thing but gladly you know we did not lose like that so yeah that is the end of the duel and then we're going to do a little quick deck profile and that's going to be it but yeah man luckily um not even luckily the, the other player he was just not the greatest so yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys next time there's the deck list and stuff like that and yeah i'm out